Hello and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. I'm currently reading Milk by Emma Rosen, Booktube's own Re Emma Rosen. <laughs> Remma Rosen? Uh, I suggest checking out her channel if you haven't actually. She's got some pretty pretty decent taste in books. Uh, and um, yeah, so this is non-fiction. It's a story of breastfeeding in a society that's forgotten how. And I'm really enjoying it actually. It's on par for like a four out of five so far. Uh, really well researched, I think, if uh, if nothing else. I mean, it's, it's well written as well. The only thing is actually one thing, um, like I've seen, there's no grammar, spelling fails, anything like that that I've seen. Like the layout's great. It's, you know, super high quality for an indie release. The only thing that I've seen is she used the word laughingly, and I hate the word laughingly. But I have seen like really well-known authors use laughingly, so you know, I'm sure I'm sure there's nothing technically wrong with it. It just really grinds my gears. But yeah, so far it's on for like a four out of five. Really interesting nonfiction about not only um, breastfeeding and what it means to individual mums, but what what it means to us as a as a society, and you know. I think it's interesting whether you have kids or not, whether you're male, whether you're female. I just, and it's kind of half memoir, half non-fiction. I mean, there are kind of almost tutorials in there as well. Uh, you know, like parenting tutorials and tips, but for the most part, it kind of goes like a little bit of science and research, a little bit of personal story kind of repeats between the two and it's cracking. That's, that's what I want from stuff. That's actually what I wanted more of from uh, We Should All Be Feminists by Chimamandi, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie because in that it was all just anecdote, anecdote, anecdote and there wasn't enough underlying science and studies there and that was my like criticism of that book I, I mean I still thought it was a, a good book but I think the argument in it would have been stronger if there had been more data and that's what Emma's done really well she's got this is my subjective experience of it Here's what the research says. Maybe here's what some other mums say. And possibly, you know, and here's what so-and-so, who's an expert, says. And that, for me, that is good non-fiction right there. So, good job, Emma. Yeah. Yo, um, I got this in the post, so I've just read this as well. Seriously, Just Go to Sleep by Adam Mansbach and Ricardo Cortez. So, Adam Mansbach wrote uh, Just Go the Fuck to Sleep, which is a children's book for adults. This one is much more like one... It kind of keeps the same idea, but you could actually read this to kids, you know, so. The giant pangolins of Madagascar are snoozing as I lie here and try not to weep. Sure, fine, whatever, I'll bring you some milk. You're obviously not going to sleep. So, yeah, I think the two of them go hand in hand, really. Uh, in fact, it is, yeah. It's this, this calls itself the children's version of the number one New York Times bestselling classic. So, yeah, this is the children's version of the adult book. And I thought it was very cute. I would give it... Pretty solid 3.75 out of 5. All right, and now back to milk. Man. Om, nom. Om. Rap, 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 rap. Om. Om. Map. Oh, I don't know. Plan. 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 C'est un plan. March. Show me your favorite. Mars. 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 Blah, blah. Mars. I think I got it. Marketing. Oh, God. We say Le Fay de Ver. The edition Cornelia's. Look. Holy man. Put your hands up. Mets tous les lignes dans la bam. Come on. We. Oui. Et voilà. So he's, he's, he's been like. Give me the dough. <laughs> and she's like, here you go. Here is the dough. Ha, ha. Je suis riche. Je vais manette dans le petit hotel. Yeah, little is going to the little hotel. Oh, oh no, but it's, it's the hotel de police. It's the gendarmerie. Oh no. Ah, c'est nul. Are you damaged? Are you damaged? Are you damaged? He was fine. He was... Ile Sava when I came in. And now Ile more. To some extent. Hey, and hey. zero gravity, the spinal organs. Hey, buddy. So my spacewalking suit was actually sized... How you doing? ...an inch and a half higher... You good? ...in the waist to accommodate spinal good. growth. And when Why I are you looking at me like that? Like you're going to kill me. Uh, ...in the pool uh -oh. for my spacewalks. Uh -oh. so you have a little bit of discomfort in the back uh -oh. when that happens in space. You feel it. 
You learning French with me, Biggie? Gymnastics. Gymnastique. Gymnastique. Yeah. Gymnastique. Gymnastique. Oh, hello. I am watching Cody's Book Corner. I'm watching her do her October Wheel of TBR. Does anyone else get this thing with like my Watch Later playlist on YouTube? Sometimes it glitches out, and so normally I have it like sorted by most recently published, but sometimes it glitches out and stops doing that. And so when that happens, sometimes I get like 20 odd videos from like in this case a week ago that just got buried under newer stuff. And now I've finally been able to sort it by date published. I'm finally getting back to it. Because like I had a lot of stuff from years ago as well. So for example, at the moment I'm learning French. So I've like subscribed to some French learning channels, but I've added a bunch of videos from those to watch later as well. Uh, anyway, uh, what do I have to report? Well, I finished reading Ronnie O'Sullivan's book. So that was that was 3.25 out of 5. I am glad I read it though, and there's more in the series, so that's always something, I guess. Um, for my next bedtime book, when I am dans le boudoir, <laughs> I uh, mon livre est. Um, I don't know how to say bye. Uh, to the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf. So that's going slowly but surely. Well, actually, I started it last night and I read the intro and like the first 30 odd pages. Um, I don't necessarily enjoy reading Virginia Woolf, but I want to have read Virginia Woolf. Sorry, I was jerking my leg around then. Uh, and so for my main bed, uh, sorry, and so for my main daytime book, I'm currently reading The Secrets of Station X, How Bletchley Park Helped Win the War by Michael Smith. And this is quite interesting because, so you guys know I read uh, the biography of Alan Turing recently, and obviously he's one of like the main figures uh, who was helping to crack the Enigma machine at Bletchley. But this is interesting because it's a history of Bletchley Park as a code-breaking facility. So it started during the First World War. Uh, so I'm now like 66 pages in. It's only about 300 pages long. Well, it's 330, but with 30 pages of notes. And um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. They've done a great job of getting lots of different points of view. Uh, like just some of the ridiculousness as well. So for example, they had to run 24-7 coverage like during the war to try and break the codes and um that nece like, like that necessitated there being like about three women in there with the men and they brought in a rule saying there couldn't be more there couldn't be less than six women uh sorry there couldn't be fewer than six women <laughs> in in the uh, in with the men at any one time and uh, luckily like they basically said this rule was brought in and with tacit consent they just abandoned it after a few weeks because it was stupid but uh but yeah uh, I've just had some um, vegan sausage rolls with vegan mayo as well. Delicious, healthy, nutritious evening meal. And I've just put some strings on my bass guitar. And I think I put the wrong strings on. So it's a bit um, basic, ba basically, see. it's The problem was because I need, so I need four, str four string bass guitar short scale strings and these are six string bass short scale strings and i looked it up the tuning of a six string bass and basically the internet lied to me about the tuning of a six string bass so i put the wrong string on because then obviously the tuning of a six string bass wait yeah because then those these string i, I don't even know i don't even know see this is the problem <laughs> But yeah, and later on I'm going to go on the radio to talk about books and stuff. Cool.
Couverture. Que... Couverture. Le couverture. chat est dans le couverture. Bleach. Mm. Il est un bon garçon. Hello! It's um, Monday. Yeah? Yeah. So I'm going to wrap things up a little bit. Oh, sorry, Biggie. Did I disturb you? He's been liking sitting on this little thing over here. Uh, I just hit myself in the penis. Uh, um, well, uh, that has totally thrown me now. Okay, so this weekend. So, um, Friday. Friday I went to see some music. Um, so I went out with Noemi who is uh, the French girl that I'm seeing, which is why I'm, I'm learning French. I was going to say I'm learning French, but I can't remember how to say I'm learning French. Je suis un étudiant de la France. <laughs> uh, I've actually picked up uh, Le, Le Chien de Baskerville by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, so this is going to be interesting. I flicked in at random and I understood a line. I mean, what we got here? Oh my God, that looks difficult. Mais je ne peux pas le oublier, mademoiselle. Doesn't, doesn't that mean I don't... But I don't think I know, lady. Je suis l'ami de Sir Henry et son bien-être est un étoile rapport avec le mien. I am friends with Sir Henry and... Um, and good... Well, bien-être is like good being, isn't it? I did very well, as you can see. Vous connaissez l'histoire de chien? I know that. You know the history of the of the dog? Je ne crois pas à de telle absurdité. That's terrible pronunciation, but that means I don't believe in absurd tales. Moi, j'y crois. Me, I do. Si vous avez le moindre influence sur Sir Henry, éloignez le d'un édouard qui est toujours et fatal à sa famille. It's probably on about the curse. Le monde est vaste. The world is wide. Pourquoi voudrait-il habiter in le dangereux? Why would you live in a dangerous place? The world's massive, mate. Parce que c'est effectivement un le dangereux. Because it's a dangerous place. Sir Henry a la caractère enzi fait. So Sir Henry has a character. I don't know. He has a character. He's a character, him. So, yeah. Hound of the Baskervilles. Um, I also read uh, Fait d'hiver by Anouk Ricard. I actually wrote a review for this. Let me try and read you my review in French. J'apprends le français, alors c'était mon premier livre en français. Je ne comprenais pas tout, mais j'ai eu de l'aide pour le lire d'une belle française. J'ai ri quelques fois et j'ai trouvé ça cool que les dessins soient basés sur des histoires varies. That was fucking terrible, but <laughs> I'm trying. It's a lot easier to read. It's the easiest thing is to read French, then to write French, then to say French. And considering how much I just struggled with the Hound of the Baskervilles, but I do also I do also have the English one. So the plan is I can read them sort of side by side. But actually, I mean, I I kind of got the gist. Like I got the gist of what was being said, even if I didn't get every word. So that's good. And uh, yeah, I've also just finished reading uh, Michael Smith, The Secrets of Station X, How Bletchley Park Helped Win the War, uh, which is, yeah, it's um, non-fiction about Bletchley Park, in particular about Alan Turing and stuff. Really fascinating. I gave this a pretty... Well, this was... I think they're both. Both of these have been 3.75 out of 5. Um, yeah. This one took me ages to read, but I have really enjoyed reading it. So, um, yeah, I'm probably not going to read the, uh, Le Chien des Baskervilles. <laughs> I'm probably not going to read that um, as my main book. I'll probably have that as like a bedtime book. So, when, well, once I finish this, I'm literally, I've got the notes left to read and that's it. And then I'm going to go and pick up something else. We'll see which one. I'm not sure yet. So, yeah. On that note, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.